Hi, I'm Joey Cotone. I'm a staff urologist at Garden Park Hospital, and I'd like to talk a little bit about urinary incontinence today. Urinary incontinence is something that occurs in both men and women, but it's much more common in women, and that's what I'll concentrate on. When I think of urinary incontinence, I want to separate it into three types of incontinence. Uh, one is called overflow incontinence, and we usually see that in people who have, who have either long-standing diabetes and the bladder just doesn't store properly or empty properly, or in our neurogenic patients from spinal cord injuries or other neurologic problems. But much less common than the other two, that is urge incontinence and stress incontinence. I think of urge incontinence as a physiologic problem. The bladder is not weighted for the brain to give the signal that it's okay to go to the restroom so a patient will feel the urge to go and immediately have to act upon it. That's usually treated with either exercises or changing habits such as eliminating caffeine from the diet or not drinking as much fluid or medication. You can go so far as to inject substances into the bladder such as Botox uh, which will help with urge incontinence. Another type of incontinence is Stress incontinence. Stress incontinence I think of as more of an anatomic problem. The anatomy of the bladder is not in its normal position and uh, the stress is on the bladder when someone coughs, sneezes, walks upstairs, runs, uh, will be transmitted to the bladder and you will have leakage. Very successful uh, treatments in this day and age, whether it be from changing your, your daily habits to adding medication, to having surgeries.